Hello folks, welcome to another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1 to 1000 scale RMS Oceanic by Atlas. This is a die-cast model. Um, the company no longer exists anymore, which kind of makes these kits a little bit more sought after and kind of rare, because they specialize in models of ships that are very obscure and you can't get by say Ravel or any other company. So well, let's take a look at the box first. So we have a very nice background in the inside. There we've got some photos as well um, all along the box. It's, it's very nice and appealing as well. Now for me personally I just leave it sitting in the box itself on my desk I rarely ever take it out but just for this review I'm going to be taking it out and showing you what it looks like that's it there actually let me put my hand up to it I have quite small hands so but uh it's, re it's relatively small it's not too small it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be when I ordered it about two years ago now I know a lot of people will get other ships like the Normandy or Lusitania or anything but I decided to get Oceanic because I was reading the an Oceanic book at the time, so um, the quality of the model, you know, for its scale, it's actually a lot more detailed than I thought it was going to be. You can see the lettering Oceanic there. Um, as for accuracy, well, you know, with this scale, we may never know, but for a diecast model, it's superb, it really is. Got its two props there. I'm not going to take it out of this packaging, by the way. Um, I like to leave it in its original box. These kits are somewhat rare. There's there's a hair here. Oh. Yeah, these kits are kind of rare nowadays. <laughs> I can't get this hair away. Yeah, it's been sitting in my sitting on my desk for a long time. So. Um, you know, for the price of them, and considering just how obscure these ships are, like there's no model kit of RMS Oceanic. I would love if there was a model kit of RMS Oceanic. Um, if there was, I would have built it by now, but I'm afraid not. So I think that's why these kits are very appealing, not kits, but these models are very appealing to uh, model makers. Um, they're definitely more well built than those die cast Titanic models that you would get at the museum in Belfast, at least from my memory. I find a lot of them ones had a lot of chipping on them. I don't know, these ones are just really well built. They're simple, but they're well built. And it's definitely something that if you want a model of one of these ships, I would definitely recommend you get one of these. They are starting to go up in price though, so I, because the company no longer exists anymore, they're getting rarer and rarer as time goes on. So, yeah, if you're interested in getting one of these, I'd suggest you make the move now. Depending on the ship that you want, they go from anywhere from 30, I bought mine for 15 euros, but honestly, they prompt, they go up higher and higher every day. So, yeah, you can price them on places like eBay. I don't know if Amazon sells them, but... They're fantastic models and one that I recommend all ship enthusiasts to definitely pick up because they're really cool. Alright folks, hopefully you like this short little review and I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.